blue. <laughs> Ready? What's up YouTube? Griever and Arlene here and we're still working on the Hunter build and now we're going to tackle the shoulder pauldron. Um, this is not the piece we're going to be using but a test piece I have been working on to try and get an idea of kind of what I want out of it. So this is kind of a mishmash of everything. So obviously we're going to be doing two. Since on most Hunter armors the shoulders are not asymmetrical am i doing that right? they're not symmetrical they're not symmetrical they are asymmetrical there you go. <laughs> um so the base design is going to be what the 10 millimeter foam is one side is going to be with the the lines on it or the the raised ribs the other one is not going to have the ribs but it will have these little raised edge plates and then we're going to cover it with three millimeter foam and then Arlene's going to be attempting to do some nice little hand-painted working on it. Joy! So, <laughs> you volunteered. I know I volunteered, but the more I think about it, it's like, it's going to be very difficult because it is on a three-dimensional surface. I know I can do it. It's just going to be, for lack of a better term, a pain in the ass. Yeah. But I'm more than happy to do it. So there you go. So we're going to... Cut the foam out. I actually did make a paper template for it. I don't He's know how learning. well it's going to work, but... We're learning. Yes. We know the proper steps to take now. We're going to cut out the foam, start getting the basic stuff on it. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to place to dip these or not tonight, but if we do, hey, awesome. If not, it's, a great it's another weather. part. It's a great weather. We want to take advantage of it. Oh, yeah. Hence why this is like the first time you guys are seeing it in actual daylight. No, we've done open. Have we? Did, we? Yeah, we did. I feel like, like we always have the garage door closed. Well, we did. Well, because we're usually working at night, we don't want bugs constantly flying in. Yes, but exactly. when we were doing Starfire, we had the garage door open. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay, Rem disregard that Remember comment. Resin Fail? Don't, don't remind me of that. <laughs> Anyways, disregard my comment. Continue. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to start tracing out and cutting out some of the multitude of format that I have and then just kind of figure it out. Chances are for these raised uh, lip slash ridges, I'm, these are most probably just going to wind up being free-handed to the best of God-given ability. <laughs> so don't expect much, but it will be there. So. so yeah, these are more custom. It's not like when we were doing the chest plate, we were actually doing it based off an actual image. This is more just... Using yeah, our the, creative free will. Yeah, the chest, my chest plate was designed off of the Dead Cure 2.1 chest plate from Destiny 2. These were going to be loosely designed off of the, um, I want to say the same set of armor, the Dead Cure armor shoulders, but I didn't want to have to worry about wrapping the foam back rod around like so many times making it, it i thought it would just be a little too much so i'm like you know what let's just do custom arms so that's what we're gonna go with very excited yep let's get started okay so we have some three millimeter foam that we're gonna double up for the ridges on the one shoulder uh we have the floor mat that we're gonna make the shoulder plates out of and i have also some it's heavily damaged in some places, but it's fine <laughs> because we just need like a certain Half good sections it. because we're going to wind up having this and this will be the ribs for the upper parts. Much like we did for the actual chest armor. Yeah. So. Let's right. get to cutting. Oh, let's get to tracing first. Oh, fine. Right. Do, do, do. Okay, so Arlene is working on the tracing out the patterns for what we're going to use for the shoulders uh, to each side. It's basically just mirror copies. You only need one pattern. Just do it four times to one side, two to the other. 
I am now going to cut them out of the 10 millimeter foam. Now, one thing I want to just kind of give a heads up on, if you're going to be doing curved pieces like the shoulders or a helmet or knee pads or any, basically anything that's going to have a curve in it, anything that is connecting to make that curve, you're going to want to actually put a bevel into it, which I did not think of when I cut these because I did it straight. And here you can see me cutting in the bevels now after I realized it. And it's easier to do it when you're actually cutting it out. Um, it just helps with the curve and all. Also, I'm using the heat gun to help also form the curve a bit to, again, just give it a little bit of help when putting it all together. Contacts are meant to put it together, just like we did with the shoulder plate. And I kind of was a little heavy-handed with the bevel on this one, so a little bit of hot glue to help reinforce the seam on the inside. No one's going to see it. It's going to be under my shoulder, or over my shoulder. Either way. And just finishing up this last one, same technique for both of them. Even though they're going to look different, the basics of the shoulders are the same for each one. So hopefully this helps a little bit. That last time, mm -hmm. what I did was to figure out where I was kind of placing it. I put the... Well, because you're painting stuff. it later, right? Yeah. Why don't we just take a pen and line it? Oh, fine. <laughs> fine. Do it all smart like and not go with my uh, ingenious, complicated idea. Yes. <laughs> it just makes sense. <laughs> do you not like when I make sense? And well, let's, let's do all the markings first. Okay. That way we have. That way we know we have the spacing correct. Is that too, or is that too much sense still? <laughs> Doing your friggin' logic. I have to make new things for them. Make sure the spacing's still pretty. Or, you know, and not mark. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And then lastly, there. Okay. Ta-da! Is that, is that even enough for you? Yeah. That's, yeah. Actually, this one. Give me a marker. This is not straight. Swooped in there. No, it didn't swoop in there. Okay, I jerked and walked. Jerked. Uh -huh. Alright, am I looking at that right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Actually, no, your line might be in the way. In, be in between these two lines is the correct line. <laughs> okay. I think I might need another foam brush because this one's not really holding well. It's getting all dry. It's getting all dry and it's not going on right. Uh oh. Okay. Another brush. Brush. Doesn't matter which one. That's another one. That's another one. This way, I also don't get shit all over my hand. And that's the other way. Right. And this is how I was laying it on. And then I have a line to follow. 
just so I have an idea of where to, to put, put it. Mm -hmm. the glue. It's not going all over the place. I like how it actually transferred on some of the contact yeah. already. That one you kind of did with the little tail on as well. Was it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm really sorry that there's a huge jump in what was done in the previous segment and what you're kind of looking at now. So... I've done some side work and honest to God, I've just forgotten to record it because it's just been something I've been trying to get done in like little pieces here and there. But the two shoulder pauldrons are almost done. Um, I finished putting the, oh, looks like that ate through some of the foam right there. That's going to be interesting. Um, I put on, I've already, I finished up the... Two pauldrons. I don't know which one's going to be right or left yet, but they've been plastic dipped. And I've also done a filler primer on this just because I wanted to see how it would turn out. Um, I mean, honestly, it's really no different than just doing the plastic dipping on it. Same thing with this one. It's all plastic dipped. I do got to put a little bit of hot glue right here just to reinforce that spot. But on this side of it, you really can't see anything. And then this will be down on my shoulder anyway, so... Uh, Arlene said she has finished up or is pretty good with on how she wants to do the decal that will go on here. I uh, think it's going to be the nerfing Lionheart or Winged Griever that you see in the logo. So, you know, just again, add a little bit of personal touch. I also had these uh, plastic dipped. These were knee pads that I had gotten a while back. Uh, just basically the Home Depot ones. Plastic dipped these so I can paint these. I think these are going to go on my thighs, so it would almost be something akin to that. It would just be a matter of making the strapping for it and then just finish painting and then probably silver detailing on this as well. The detailing on this is going to be the ribs are going to be silver. The rest of it's going to be purple. I'm going to do this purple and then just once we get the decal, it will be then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do the rest of the coloring on it. But that's the update right now i'm gonna go paint these up and see you guys with whatever we have next okay so sorry this video was so all over the place as it came to construction it was unfortunately something just left up to me and i kept working on this kind of like almost on the side and just forgetting to record stuff so i'm sorry about all of that but for the most part, the shoulders are now finally done. The, I don't know if this is going to be right or left, but I have my little added flare. I don't know what, you, my little flare here. Um, this area is blank for when uh, me and Arlene next work together for her either design or decal or whatever she's putting onto this one. And then the other pauldron, which... I think came out pretty good compared to what I originally had my concept for. So the uh, paint for both of these, the purple is the same spray paint I used for the uh, chest plate and all. And the silver here is just hand painted silver acrylic paint. So that's it for this part of the shoulders. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry it wasn't the learning experience I had hoped it would have been, but if you learned something from it, awesome. Um, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this and the build so far of how it's going. And don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. So, again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.